Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, October 30th, 2018, and we are looking at the one-year daily chart of Facebook. Facebook is reporting earnings today after the closing bell. So question is, are their earnings going to be good or bad? But most importantly, is the stock price going to rise, drop, or go sideways after the earnings are announced? Obviously, nobody knows the answer. So the right thing to do would be to place a semi-non-directional trade because we really don't know which way the stock is going to go after the earnings are announced. Take a look at the implied volatility of Facebook. And this is often the case when the company is about to ret uh, report earnings. Due to the uncertainty of the earnings announcement, the implied volatility of the stock shoots way up. That means the market makers are expecting the stock to be a little bit volatile after the earnings announcement. So when the IV is high, it also means that the premiums of options are also high. So a good time to be placing earnings plays is right before the earnings are released because that's when you're going to have the highest IV and you have a better idea of where the stock price is. By late afternoon today, October 30th, Facebook was trading around 146. So if you take the sum of the at the money put options and the at the money call options, you will get around $12 or so. And that's what this means here. MMM means market maker move. This is the expected move of the stock after earnings plus or minus $12. That means the market makers are expecting the stock to move up or down $12 from the closing price of $146. $12 below $146 is $134. $12 above $146 is $158. Do we really know which way Facebook is going to go after earnings today? The answer is no. So the best strategy to use is a ratio put spread. We are going to sell a ratio put spread. That strategy allows us to make money in all three directions, up, down, or sideways. The options with the best premiums are the ones that are closest to the expiration date. And that's the reason I am using the November 2nd, 2018 options. And remember earlier I mentioned that the market makers are expecting the stock to move up or down $12. So $12 below 146 is 134 and so I selected my strike prices to be outside of that range, just to be safe. Here is my ratio put spread. This trade was placed at 12.46 p.m. Pacific time today, right before the earnings. I bought one long put with a straight price of 132, 
and I sold twice as many short puts with a lower strike price. The credit that I received on the trade was $1.17. I have one ratio put spread. So take the credit of 117 and multiply it by one contract times 100. So I collected $117 when I placed a trade. If Facebook closes above 132 on the expiration date, I get to keep 100% of the original credit. So my profit will be $117. If, on the other hand, Facebook drops down and lands at 131 or below, I will make an extra $1 in this spread. So that's an extra $100. So my maximum potential profit is 117 plus 100 is $217. The ideal sweet spot is for Facebook to land at 131, not below. My break even point is at 138, I'm sorry, 128.83. I got this number by taking the short strike and subtracting my total maximum credit of $2.17. That means Facebook can go all the way down to 128.83 before I start to lose money on this trade. If Facebook lands anywhere above 128.83, I will make some kind of profit on the trade. Right now, Facebook is trading at around 41.46. So this gives me a little wiggle room on the downside. If the earnings are really good and Facebook rises tomorrow, October 31st, I might consider closing out this trade and taking my profits before expiration. I usually prefer to do that rather than holding the trade all the way until expiration because you never know what can go wrong in the end. To summarize, options premiums are always at their highest right before the earnings announcement. So if you're going to be trading options on stocks, make sure that you're aware of the earnings dates. If you're placing an earnings play, wait until the last minute and then place your trade. Keeping in mind that you really don't know which way the stock is going to go. So consider using a ratio put spread which allows you to make money in all three directions. Stay tuned for part two of this series. Thank you for watching and remember to share the knowledge and spread the wealth.